Okay. So, yeah. Um, you know, really important in, in contra, what's called counterpoint and contrapuntal, contrapuntal music in, the, in Bach, for example. And um, I was just having a conversation on Facebook with a music geek friend of mine. She lives in Canada. And uh, she was just like going on about, we were both going on about Bach, kind of rhapsodizing about like, there's just simply no, there was no musician on the planet ever that ever came close to his level of genius. Really? Well, you know, he was Lutheran. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people say a lot about Beethoven. I'm not a huge Beethoven fan, pretty much. Um, a lot of his music is a bit bombastic to me, for my taste. Mm -hmm. You know, he was the first romantic, and he was amazing, but no Bach. He just didn't have the kind of mm -hmm. divinity that Bach had. Um, I remember, like when I was uh, in in college, we, I I uh, for the music uh, sight singing. Uh, section of my training, I, I, I had to join the chorus. And I remember a moment where we were doing Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, mm -hmm. and, and the, the teacher was getting, the professor was getting really pissed at us, because we're going for these notes and we're just not hitting them. And one of his bits of advice was, picture the note as being higher than the one you're supposed to hit and go for that. <laughs> okay. And it actually worked. It was a good psychological uh, technique. <laughs> But, you know, he, he got so annoyed, he took the, the best uh, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass and put them in front of the room and told the chorus to listen to them, mm -hmm. right? And what it did for me was it, it took box music, which I was part of at, at the moment we were performing it, and now I'm looking at it as if through a, a microscope. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing an objective view and getting the big picture. And I swear to you, when I heard this just these four people singing this, I was hearing angels. I really? mean, it was just so extraordinary. Yeah? Extraordinarily beautiful. It really was. Well, uh, it's the reason, like, where my friend, uh, <coughs> my friend Alice, you know, every summer she goes up to Carmel for the Bach Festival. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's, uh, it's not all Bach all the time, you know. But Another side <laughs> note about Bach is uh, we did a, in my music analysis class, uh, we took now Bach is four part four part counterpoint. So basically, what you have is four different melodies with different rhythms and different accents. All right, I'm one guy might be holding a note ah uh, for three beats, and another one saying ah uh, uh, you know whatever. Uh, so you'll get all these different you know voices that are filling in as as the notes meet on the beats. They're filling in a chord. And what our teacher did was, this is what I talk about, the uh, horizontal harmony and vertical harmony. We were doing vertical harmony. We were studying the structure of, of what chord was happening at any given moment. Okay. And the thing that blows my mind the most is that he was doing out and out extended jazz chords, like 13 flat 9 chords. And really? Stuff like this. And I'm not kidding. This is a 13 flat 9. You'd think, I never heard this in Bach. Like, you're in a minor key. Um, <laughs> Right, and then uh, really? got a minor key. I'm sorry, I'm wrong about that. <clears throat> this is you wouldn't notice this if it was held. Or you would notice it if it was held out. Right, but if right. it's just stacked up, completely subliminal. There and and take one note away from that, and it's gone again. Yeah. But that's how fast. Holy that's God. how it, it it just traverses by. I've heard sharp nine chords. <laughs> In Fox music. I mean, this is like, oh, you know, and the thing is, he got away with it. You know, it's. I, I like to joke that Bach was a messenger from the future, from the 21st century, and uh, he was so used to the 21st century music that he had to find a way to sneak in those cool chord changes without the, without the Pope and the Church getting oh, upset. Oh, sure. You know, uh, although uh, he was Lutheran, so I guess uh, the Pope didn't count in that case. <coughs> We didn't get truck, give him a lot of truck, really. <laughs> you know, you do know, I mean, I kind of joke about it, but there is this sort of Lutheran choral tradition mm -hmm. uh, that has been around literally kind of since Lutherans have been around. And uh, that's why, you know, it's not exclusive to Lutherans, but, I mean, you start singing in little choirs and choral going you know, early on, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, boy, we're kind of proud of it. But, yeah, Marty Luther... Plus, you know, he's German, he drank a lot of beer. <laughs> but yeah, well, no, that was interesting. Johan. <laughs>